Warm regards, today is Sunday, May 19, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In today's video, I would like to talk about a very important topic related to sea surface temperatures, specifically for the tropical Atlantic region where they have reached record levels typically seen in August and September. The concerning factor is that these sea surface temperatures will continue to warm over the next few months until they peak between August, September and October. Later I will be discussing the temperature anomalies in the main development region for cyclones, and also in the Caribbean Sea where we currently have temperatures exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. Our concern is that these very warm temperatures will favor the development of tropical cyclones in the Atlantic and promote the rapid strengthening of cyclones across the Atlantic Basin. Additionally, the El Nino phenomenon continues to weaken in the eastern Pacific region, where it is imminent that NOAA will declare we are in neutral ENSO conditions. For the peak of the season, we continue to project the development of the La Nina phenomenon. The combination of the La Nina phenomenon with record temperatures across the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean basically guarantees one of the most active seasons we have seen in history. So, let's talk about the North Atlantic region where temperature anomalies continue to reach historic levels. In the latest analysis, we can see that we are already starting to see some areas where sea surface temperatures exceed 3 degrees Celsius above normal for this time of year. Unfortunately, these anomalies are not limited to the tropical Atlantic region. We also see the subtropical Atlantic and the northeastern Atlantic with warmer than usual temperatures. This is correlated with very active seasons. Also, look at the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico with temperatures surpassing 2 to 3 degrees Celsius above normal. In the next graph, you can see that over the past 40 years, we have never had such warm temperatures in the North Atlantic for the month of May. Currently, we are surpassing the historical record set in 2023. It is so impressive that the average temperatures we are recording now are typical for the months of June or July. This graph is for the North Atlantic. If we zoom into the main development region, which covers the area from Africa to the Caribbean, you can see that the situation is much more severe. Currently, we are approaching average temperatures of 28 degrees Celsius. These values are typically recorded during the month of September, so we are talking about temperatures in this zone being four months ahead of what is normal. Also, note in red the record from last year. Currently, we are also at extremely high levels for this time of year, significantly breaking last year's record. If the typical warming trend of the waters continues over the next few months, it is very likely that between September and October, the main development region will see average sea surface temperatures reaching between 29 and 30 degrees Celsius, which would be a historic event. Worse yet, in the Caribbean Sea region, we currently have average temperatures exceeding 29 degrees Celsius. The temperature we have now far exceeds what is normal for the peak of the year, which typically occurs in September and October. What I am saying is that the current temperatures already surpass the maximum temperature typically reached for the entire year. Our concern is that we know temperatures will continue to warm over the next few months. Currently, we are well above the levels of 2023 and this available energy in the oceans and the Caribbean Sea will have significant effects on the Caribbean. Heavy rainfall is expected during the summer, along with a high potential for the rapid strengthening of cyclones moving through this area. This is of great concern for everyone in the Atlantic region. And if we look at the projections from some global models, you can see that for August, September and October, they continue to project that the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea will have above normal temperatures, particularly for the Caribbean Sea region, where it is projected that temperatures will be 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above normal during the peak of the season. What we are seeing is so impressive that experts at the Weather Channel have just updated their seasonal forecast and increased the number of tropical storms and hurricanes expected for this season. In their latest forecast, they state that 25 tropical storms are expected, while the normal number is 14. Additionally, they anticipate that 12 of these could reach hurricane category, whereas the normal number is 7. Of these 12 hurricanes, 6 could be category 3, category 4, or category 5, whereas the normal number is 3. This forecast basically tells us that they are projecting a season almost twice as active as normal. It is worth mentioning that this is the most aggressive forecast the Weather Channel has issued since they started making these types of predictions. Moreover, the Weather Channel comments that the projections indicate that the Azores' high pressure could be stronger than usual this year. This would favor a more westerly trajectory for the cyclones, putting Central America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the southeastern United States at greater risk. This aligns very well with the projections from some global models. In terms of precipitation, you can see they are projecting more rainfall than usual across the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea, suggesting more westerly trajectories and a very active and dangerous peak season for the Caribbean region. If we focus on the Caribbean, you can see that precipitation anomalies well above normal are anticipated. Unfortunately, this forecast is not limited to the Weather Channel, 
we can see that all groups are predicting a hyperactive season. If we analyze all the forecasts issued in 2024, on average, they are projecting 24 tropical storms, 11 hurricanes, and 5 major hurricanes. These are very alarming forecasts. The important thing is that everyone in the Caribbean, Central America, Mexico, and the United States should be preparing for one of the most active seasons in history. Remember that the time to prepare is now. Do not leave preparations for the last minute. You know that here on Hurricane Info, I will remain vigilant to keep you informed. I invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. This week, I will continue recording some videos, especially on May 23rd, when NOAA's official forecast for anticipated cyclone activity in the Atlantic will be published. Until then, see you later.